Hey, good afternoon. I'm finally able to record a video. The last few days have been very busy because I was attending a course. So today I read Proverbs chapter 14 and although I didn't share anything, I actually finished reading the book of Ecclesiastes. Today I was thinking that I must share something about Ecclesiastes since I've read the whole book but said nothing. So I was thinking, let me share from Proverbs 14 and then draw the conclusion in Ecclesiastes. Both are written by King Solomon. So chapter 14 of Proverbs verse 12. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. Verse 14, the backslider in heart will be filled with his own ways, but a good man will be satisfied from above. Then we go to Ecclesiastes, and from there, okay, Ecclesiastes was written by Solomon when he fell away from God. He sought to find out what life is all about. My pastor taught us this, that it is life under the sun. The sun, S-U-N, and S-O-N, under the sun. Not above the sun, not above the physical life. A life that is Without the Lord God, this is what happens. Solomon wrote, chapter 1, verse 1, Vanity of vanities, says the preacher, Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. This is his conclusion. After seeking his own way and listening to his own heart, note in verse 12, I, the preacher, was king over Israel in Jerusalem and I set my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all that is done under heaven. This burdensome task God has given to the sons of men by which they may be exercised. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun and did all is vanity and grasping for the wind. This is his conclusion. Further, he said in chapter 2, verse 1, I said in my heart, Come now, I will test you with mirth, therefore enjoy pleasure. But surely this also was vanity. I said of laughter, madness, and of mirth, what does it accomplish? I searched in my heart how to gratify my flesh with wine while guiding my heart with wisdom and how to lay hold on folly till I might see what was good for the sons of men to do under heaven all the days of their lives. He went on to boast about what he did, everything that he built. And he said, Whatever my eyes desired, I did not keep from them. I did not withhold my heart from any pleasure, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my reward from all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had done, and on the labor in which I had toiled, and indeed all was vanity and grasping for the wind. There was no profit under the sun. Remember just now I read from Proverbs 14, verse 12. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. The backslider in heart will be filled with his own ways, but a good man will be satisfied from above.
when we chase after our feelings whether it is to achieve the ultimate happiness buying the stuff that we like things that appeals to our eyes things that feels good doing and and pursuing things that make us feel good in the end those things will not satisfy we will need more and more whatever it is if we start to search in our heart and trust our heart what is right what is wrong doing stuff that we want to do that our heart feels let that, that deep desire without looking up looking at the lord and seeking his guidance for him to transform our hearts in the end the result will be vanity of vanities we are called to bigger things we are called to have that relationship with the lord to be satisfied from the things above not the things that is around us we are spirit we have a soul and we live in a body if we live to satisfy only our body and our souls we cannot achieve ultimate happiness and joy and security and peace because that dwells in our spirit that is who we really are but when we pursue our soulish our soulish desires and the body needs only then we are deprived of the higher joy the higher good that the lord has created us to be because we are spirit we are made in the very image of god and jesus christ came down to redeem us so that we can become a new creation reborn to live a spiritual life a life that is much more than soul much more than feelings much more than just the basic needs what jesus came to give us is hope an eternal hope and a, a, a strong relationship with the father that will take us into eternity take us above the sun take us above our soul so let us seek the truth of god and live in that realm above the bible says that we are seated with christ in the heavenly places although we are physically here we are called to live the overcoming life the life that is above the storm that's why jesus walked on the waters in the midst of the storm that's where we are as jesus is so are we in this world not called to live horizontally but to live above have a blessed day and i pray today that you have a revelation of that overcoming life that abundant life that jesus came to give you have a blessed